everyone, I made a salad in here from Love Life Yarn and today we are going to be crocheting the lemon peel stitch. I'm working on this stitch in a blanket pattern and you can see it gives you a nice texture. It's just a single crochet and a double crochet, alternating single, double, single, double. So it's super easy, but it gives a great look. So we're gonna be working this up today and I'm gonna walk you through step by step how to crochet this. Find more than 100 free patterns at lovelifeyarn.com. I'm always adding to my stitch tutorial. Be sure to subscribe. Let's get started. Okay, now I've already started with my slip knot, and we're going to chain an odd number of stitches. So I'm going to chain 21. I don't know why I like to work in a multiples of 20 a lot when I'm doing swatches, but. Okay, and 21, <laughs> if it'll do it. My yarn is not cooperating with me right now. Okay, so the next thing is we're gonna make a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. If you have an odd number, of course you skip the first one, or I skip this very first. I like to crochet into the back of the chain, so I'm gonna go ahead and work in these little bumps. So I'm gonna skip this very first one, that kinda got pulled tight. And I'm gonna work a single crochet right here. So it'll end up with an even number since we chained an odd number. And if you do it that way, you'll always end up starting with a single crochet. So a single, okay, double, of course you yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull the loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two for your double, and you're just going to alternate. So the next one will be a single crochet, and then a double. Okay, and just keep doing that single, double, single, double, all the way to the end. Your last chain should end with the double crochet. Okay, so my last stitch here was a double crochet. And then we'll turn and you're going to work the opposite stitch in. So if you worked a double crochet on the first row, you're going to work a single this time. So since we ended with a double, that will always begin with a single crochet. So chain one, and single right here in the first stitch. And now this next stitch you can see is a single crochet. It's just got the little V. So go ahead and yarn over and work a double crochet in there. And see how this next stitch is taller? It shows you it's a double. So do you just single, and you just work the opposite. So single, double. So if you keep an even number of stitches, which I have 20, because I chained 21, okay? You always have that one little turning chain with the stitch pattern for the single crochet, the very first single crochet. And then you know that you'll start with the single, end with the double, and that way your stitch pattern will be nice and even, and you won't have to constantly be like, okay, wait, that's a single crochet, I need a double in there. You just alternate and end up with a nice even number of stitches and a nice even pattern. So just keep working it. Back and forth, single, double, single, double. And then as you can see with the alternating a single and a double, the stitches just build and the doubles kind of give it this little nice texture. It makes for great blankets and garments. This is gonna be a blanket. It's actually um, the Karen Cotton Cakes which I'm really, really enjoying. I love the way these colors are working up right here. Really, really nice. And it feels great and it's cotton, so you can't go wrong with that, right? I love, love cotton yarn. So 
this is one that I'm really, really enjoying. Nice and squishy, nice baby blanket. So when this is done, I'll be releasing the free pattern, add to the library of free patterns. So I hope you will join me on my crochet journey. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe.